ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज द जायंट सेल ट्यूमर ऑफ द बोन सो बेसिकली जायंट सेल ट्यूमर इज अ मैलिग्नेंट न्यूप्लाज्म ऑफ बोन सो हेयर इट इज द एक्सरे डायग्राम वी कैन सी दैट दिस पोर्शन दिस पोर्शन इज अफेक्टेड हेयर एंड द मोस्ट अफेक्टेड एरिया ऑफ द जायंट सेल ट्यूमर आर एपिफाइसिस areas epiphysis of the bone epiphysis of the bone okay so you can see that there it is the epiphyseal center it is like this and this appears look like the soap bubble appearance okay so now come to the pathogenesis so pathogenesis let's uh, take this is the macrophage this is the macrophage okay macrophage now the those are the osteoblast cells due to the stimulation by pth it forms a gene named the rankel gene the name of the gene is rankel gene rankel gene is a pro apoptotic gene okay so rankel gene now will attach rankel attach to the macrophage receptors and now it becoming started to become a osteoclastic cell multinucleate osteoclastic cell so now it is the active here you can see this is the active osteo Clust. Okay, so now this will cause the bone resorption. Bone resorption. Okay. Now come to the gross and the morphological features of the giant cell tumor. Gross features is uh, the large tumor clearly circumscribed and frequently undergoes cystic changes. So you can see here. this is a large area this is the gross features now come to the microscopic features as we told earlier in the pathogenesis that the uh, multinucleated osteocells cluster cells are formed so after doing the histological study here you can see the multinucleated osteoclastic cells okay and in a background of a mononuclear cells this is the nucleo plastic mononuclear cells you can see that the nuclear size is increased comparing to the cytoplasm so this is the microscopic features of the giant cell tumor next come to the radiologic uh, radiological appearance so you can see that the it produces lytic lesions and uh, here it is you can see that it produces lytic lesion in radiology you can see this and and the soap bubble appearance okay so that's what uh, and the spread last part is the spread spread can be local spread that is it can restricted restrict uh, their growth within the involved bone and another one is hematogenous spread and the most common site is lung Okay, so that was the lecture of the osteo giant cell tumor. So if you like this video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel.